Hello and welcome to Infinity. In this picture we're going to use this to look at the histogram, understand what's going on with this, and consequently being able to do a kind of an intelligent adjustment of them this. Here we've got at the bottom end here, we've got this is going to be the darker areas, and so that's going to be around here with the sky being up here. There's a hole in the middle which means there's not much in the way of midtones here. In this we can even look at this and look further and can see that we've got a lot of greens and blues up here. So the blues are darker so you're going to get a bit of blue in the shadows which is fairly common. And the green is bigger here which is why it's green. There's a lot of green in here. However we can look a bit close more closely at this up here and see what's going on. Because this is in the lighter area which is mostly going to be the sky. But why have we got this red, green and blue peaks here? Well we can find that if we go to the colour here, drag the pipette over the sky and you can see red is 159, green 191 and blue 231. So that's lower, mid and high. And in fact if we click on the little pipette again now because we've selected it to here it brings it into here and also in here. And you can see there we go the red, the green and the blue, which matches the red, the green and the blue here. So this is what's happening. These are three components of the sky there. So what can we do about that? Well one thing we can do here is go to levels and we can see this here and we can explore this a little bit more. So if I bring the black up here, this is going to make all the background well, the darker areas go black. So this is all black here. So everything up here you can see. So this is showing you immediately where the sky is. Then if I bring down this to here, now everything above here is white. So all we're seeing here is what, where this red peak is and it's going to be in this area here. Similarly we can move up to the green one and you can see that this is the green area. And also notice here it's bringing out little things I hadn't noticed before. Some dust spots here we might you might want to fix, but you don't see that in the normal picture. So you can see what's happening with this. Okay, let's just, we don't need that anymore. We're going to go back to this one here because we can start using the curves to adjust it. So go to adjustment here and curves. And now with RGB I'm going to go down to the red and look what happens here if I move this red this up and down. If I move the red up, watch the histogram here and see the red's being shifted up here. So within the sky area, yes it's making things red down here, but in the sky here I'm pushing the red up here. So we're looking at the histogram effect. So that's making putting more red into the sky which is making this here not so blue. But if I bring it down the other way, now the red has gone all the way down here, which means I've got more red and green, sorry, blue and green being dominant here, which is making this more of a cyan colour. So I can affect the sky here. But what if I want to, if I want to say do that, like that, bring this down a little bit, Maybe I want to push the green down a little bit to make it a little bit more teal. So I go to the green and I'm going to bring the green down a bit that way. And you can see the sky here now going a bit more teal because you've got less green because teal is more blue with a bit of green in it. And so we can adjust the colour like that. But how do we keep it all in the sky here? Well we know roughly where it all is, so we can use the blend ranges. I can do that here or I can do it up there. And now I use the right hand graph because I'm using a, an adjustment. If it was just a pixel image I'd use this one. And now this is the darks and these are the lights. So I bring this down here and bring this up to around here. So it's only affecting, so it's effectively selecting this upper area, which includes the sky. But I've lost a lot of that teal here because I want to, but I want to keep it. So bring this up here. 
You don't really want to pull it square like that because you're going to get some edge effects. And in fact, if you can even take off the linear effect here, so it's curved and bring a, if you put a point near either, either end, you're going to get a fairly smooth, but fairly sharp curve there. So that is selecting effectively just that area. So if I turn that off and on, now I am selecting this area here. And watch what happens here. See, the, this is with it off. This is where it was originally. And I turn it on. I've moved the red down. I've moved the green down in that area. So blue is more dominant with a bit of green and a lot of red taken out of it. So that's the way that you can really just use this, these things to understand histogram, move things around and have the effect that you want. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.